Malthus was born into a wealthy family in Guildford, Surrey as the second son of Henrietta Catherine and Daniel Malthus, who had eight children. He studied Latin, Greek, and English in Jesus College at the University of Cambridge. He earned an academic degree in 1791 and became a full-time professor in two years. He became a deacon after receiving ordination from the Church of England in 1797. But he said that helping the poor could accelerate population growth, thus plunging people into vicious cycles of poverty. In his Principles of Population, Malthus argued that population multiplies geometrically and food arithmetically. Therefore, if nothing is done, the world will head towards disaster due to food shortage. He argued that we have to restrict the growth of poor population in line with the level of food production. He also proposed measures for restricting population growth, and recommended preventive checks. But people who read the principles of population have been more interested in the prediction of catastrophe than his proposals for preventive measures. Even Prime Minister Fitt, who supported a growing population and helping the poor, shifted his position to withdrawal of all the laws on supplementary living subsidy or allowance. Malthus also claimed that people should be living in very unsanitary conditions in residential areas where the streets are so narrow so that epidemic diseases could spread rapidly. He also said that no further medical development should be done. It is contrary to common sense today. He also argued that those who are not able to live by themselves do not deserve to live. Principles of population has accordingly been criticized in three aspects. First, Malthus made a statistical mistake as he did not analyze the problem of population based on empirical data. He overlooked the fact that the population in America was increasing with the influx of immigrants, and calculated population growth by deducting death rate from birth rate. Second, he failed to predict the development of technology and simply calculated the arithmetic growth of food supply. The UK now exports grains and wheat as they are produced in excess of what's needed. Only a minimum number of Americans are devoted to farming but they are able to feed all Americans. Third, population growth has been controlled by contraceptives and medicines. Humans have overcome challenges all the time and have matured in that process. Unlike his gloomy theories, Malthus was a humorous and sociable person. He wanted to be a priest and did in fact serve as one. He was a genius and studied various subjects. However, he did not abandon his theory that humans would come to an end with population growth. He also argued that famines and infectious diseases have a virtuous effect on population control. His theory also gave great inspirations to Charles Darwin. Darwin asserted that individuals compete for survival and only the ones most adapted to the environment can survive. Darwin called those who survive the results of natural selection. Inspired by Darwin, scholars of the time divided people into different classes. His theory was distorted and led to the mass extermination of Jews during World War II. Hitler ordered ethnic cleansing based on this kind of theory as he believed that Jews and immigrants were inferior. Malthus married in 1804 and had three children. Due to a congenital hair lip, he had his portrait drawn only in 1833. Thomas Malthus died in 1834 and was buried in Bath Abbey. Principles of Economics How Markets Work Principles of Firm Behavior Principles of Income Distribution and Frontiers of Economics Principles of National Economy How Money and Exchange Rates Work How Economic Fluctuations and Economic Policy Work Translated into six languages and exported to the world The people of the world enjoy economics.